My career, both as a DPS officer and now as a U.S. Marshal, never seen anything like this. Tonight's big story for the third time in a week. Members of law enforcement coming under fire. First, a gunman ambushing two L.A. Sheriff's deputies. Then a gunman opening fire outside the federal courthouse in Phoenix, hitting a U.S. Marshal working security. And now a third case involving a suspect armed with an AK-47 firing at a DPS trooper. The teenage gunman's bullets narrowly missing that trooper. Good evening, everyone. I'm Kariba Devine. And I'm Mitch Carr. In tonight for Mark Curtis. At this hour, authorities are searching for an accomplice. Team 12's William Pitts joins us live from DPS headquarters with the developing details. William? Well, DPS is asking for your help in finding the driver of a silver infinity. They already have the suspected shooter in custody. For the second time this week, Valley law enforcement dodging bullets. DPS says two troopers were sitting in this unmarked patrol car near 35th Avenue in Roosevelt. A silver infinity G37, this one, pulled up in front of them, nose to nose. Very, very close proximity, honked their horn to get the detective's attention. That's when the passenger got out raised that assault rifle and began firing at our detectives. Los niños se asustaron. Abby Montalomo says her kids heard the shots and got scared. Esa bala. This woman worried bullets might come through her house. The passenger got back in the car and took off, apparently leaving the rifle on the ground. You can see it from Sky 12 lying in the dirt. The troopers managed to return fire and DPS released a photo of the car. A few hours later, they arrested the 17-year-old accused shooter. Right now, the suspect who is in custody is not injured. We do not believe that uh, anyone else was hit. Uh, again, very grateful that none of our troopers who had an assault rifle pointed at them were not and fired upon them were not injured either. This is the car DPS is looking for. It's a silver Infinity G37 with a temporary plate, custom wheels, and chipped paint below the license plate. They also issued a blue alert asking for the public's help to locate that car. That's what they send out when someone attacks a law enforcement officer. The head of DPS, Heston Silbert, says the trooper was inches away from being shot. It struck exactly where the trooper had been sitting. Silbert and Arizona's U.S. Marshal David Gonzalez drawing comparisons between this shooting, Tuesday's shooting at the federal courthouse in downtown Phoenix, and an ambush on two L.A. sheriff's deputies last weekend that left both wounded and in the hospital. I'm disgusted by the actions of people toward law enforcement that I've seen take place in this country over the past several months. In my career, both as a DPS officer and now as a U.S. Marshal, never seen anything like this. Again, the car DPS is looking for is a silver Infinity G37 with temporary plates and chipped uh, paint underneath the license plate area. It's the subject of a blue alert, which is kind of equivalent of an amber alert for kids, but for cases involving violent attacks on law enforcement. Go to the 12 News app for greater detail on that alert system. We're live in Phoenix, William Pitts, 12 News.